Greetings! My name is Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to Risk of Rain Returns. That's right, Risk of Rain Returns Returns. Uh, Risk of Rain Returns is also the name of their insurance policy. <laughs> so, last time, we beat the game as Huntress on our first proper run-through. Certainly our first run-through as Huntress. And we unlocked, uh, well, we unlocked quite a few things. Doing a bunch of items and shit. But also, four new characters. <laughs> and we're gonna be rolling out with easily one of my favorite characters from the original Risk of Rain. Bandit. Although admittedly, a large part of that is due to me using him almost exclusively with uh, when I when I was playing with the glass artifact. <laughs> oh, mm, which one? Oh, this one, this one looks great. Oh, nah. So yeah, he's got the whole thing. He can turn invisible, and uh, yeah, it'll allow him to move faster and stuff, and also deal damage to enemies around him when he comes out of invisibility. And this, it's got a, not a very short cooldown, but it, it would combine with Lights Out, which would reset all cooldowns, including Lights Out, if you, if you kill an enemy with it, to have some pretty kick-ass mobility. And also a lot of crowd control abilities with Dianite Toss and Smoke Bomb. Good shit. Ah. Uh. So, let's go in, shall we? Ah. Ah. That's odd. It's using the, uh... Risk of Rain 2 version of Lights Out, where it's, uh... Pulling out a revolver and shooting them. In, the, in Risk of Rain 1, it was just, uh... He just charged up a big shot with his rifle. Yay. The Risk of Rain experience. Oh, and also has the, uh... Risk of Rain 2 thing for, uh... Where the smoke bomb also gives him a bit of verticality. That's nice. Both at the, you know, bumping him up at the start and end of it. Neat. Oh well. Now well, fuck it, let's go for the under five minutes thing. <laughs> the achievement part. Uh-oh. Board of Mini. Fucking wisps. At least these wisps are, like, a million times less annoying than the ones from Risk of Rain 2, where they just, ah, just fly in the air and hit you. Just um, the most obnoxious enemy in that game. Uh, these at least can work around by... Ow. Not doing that. Maybe I should have waited a bit longer and, you know... On the plus side, invisibility is way better in this than it, than it is in the second game. Because it, it actually does protect you. <laughs> reliably. Unlike Risk of Rain 2, where it does not. In this one, this is in one, it's practically invincibility. In fact, it might be invi invincibility, I forget. <laughs> but yeah. At the very least, you are immune to contact damage. Although it looks like they cut out the uh, other thing of Smoke Bomb, where it also increased your health regen. Ow, fucking... They went to full, like, get down, Mr. President.
Immune. Like I said. Okay. Well, that was rough, but. Fuck it, we won. Now, run away! And there we go. Challenge complete. Although, I don't know if that item is actually any good. Because like I said in the first one, uh, completing challenges for to unlock items that you don't like is actually, you know, not a good thing. It makes the game harder. I mean, unless you use com Artifact or Command, I suppose, but I don't have that yet. Oh, come on! That's a, one of the problems with Bandit, is that it's very easy for just, you know, like, charge, start targeting of a shot and then another enemy comes in out of nowhere and blocks it. It's bad enough when they, like, you know, cut, you know, come off, uh, come up off of a rope or jump down or something, but it's even worse when they straight up teleport right on top of where you're firing. This is why... This is one of the reasons why attack speed is actually very important for this character, because it affects how fast you charge up that big shot. Oh, fuck! Ah, not even... Yeah, this character is not exactly an easy one to master. Oh! I didn't see the hole. Well, hopefully this is the right way. Yes, it is, actually. Wow, we're speedrunning shit! God fucking damn it. If I can get... Ooh! Alright! Uh... This is a plan with neither flaw nor chance of error. What's this? Chance of rewards, huh? Nice! Yoink! It's also, if you have, you know, per drones and shit, there's also the potential issue of, you know, the enemy dying. Oh. I, mean, I really shouldn't use this right now, should I? But it's very on brand for the, uh, for that shrine. Ha! Well, let's die. Oh, you've gotta be three of them! Oh, you've gotta be fucking. Are you serious? Fuck you! Uh, at least I got this. Unstable watch. I think that's a good item. Uh Fucking magma worm. Worst boss in the whole fucking game. Whoever designed the magma worm will go it will burn in a very special hell. One reserved for child molesters and people who talk in the theater. Ooh, barbed wire. Sweet. Oh, kind of. No, damn it. I mean, it looked like he was in the range, but now. Yeah, well. Oh shit, he can get across the small gap. That's the problem. I pressed C, but you just didn't. Ah, there's so- I feel like there's a lot more lag between uh, firing and doing e literally anything else than there was in this game. What's this? 
Jack shit, that's what. And also one way. Jack shit. These crap guys are exactly as obnoxious as I remember them being. Hey, actually, how do I think about it? The invisibility thing actually combos pr really well with barbed wire. I should use that more, although one stack of barbed wire does sh shit all damage. Bar but barbed wire is one of the best scaling abilities in the game. That's not to say it's one of the best scaling abilities, but it's one of the best scaling abilities. You see? Suckers! Now I'm the asshole giving you, hitting you with contact damage. Man, one of the problems, one of the things, problems I have with using Bandit is that. I just have the urge to go for those fucking uh, finisher things, even when it actually has, like, almost no benefit. <laughs> what was that again? Ah, attack faster at lower HP. Neat. Ooh. Hey. Oh yeah! I mean, it's not... I wouldn't say that's the best of the rare items, but hey, it's a, it's a good rare item. I take it over most uncommon items. And I can't say that for... Nice. For all the rare items. It's a pretty chunky increase in damage. And it combos ex uh, extremely well with Bandit specifically. So yeah, that's pretty nice. I mean, it can theoretically cuck you if you if you don't do it properly, but so can a lot of items. No magma worm. No magma worm. Oh thank goodness. Wondering vagrant. Which one was that? Oh, the flying guy. That guy's kind of annoying. But he's not like obnoxious or anything. More just, eh. Barbed wire killed the thing I was trying to get the ta uh, trying to hit. First world problems, am I right? I'm not sure what I hit there, but hey, it died, so I'm not complaining. Boom! Oh, hey! 
Neat. I unlocked Enforcer. Unfortunately, I'm a bandit main and fuck the police. <laughs> uh. He's pretty neat in Risk of Rain 2, even though he isn't in Risk of Rain 2. So that's the magic of modding. <laughs> It's like people think like, oh, the reason why he's not in with Rain 2 oh, and properly, haha, is because he's you know, difficult to translate because to 3D because a lot of because his main ability very much functions based off of the 2D space, which which is funny because I've uh, the mod that I've like, that added him, he was like ridiculous, like way more busted than he was in fucking. In Risk of Rain 1. Fuck! Oh. I was about to, uh, to curse that guy getting in my way, but then he died, so it didn't matter. Alrighty then. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Right. Um... Come on, where are these crates? Oh yeah, it's pretty good. Ah, uh, three fucking coins off. Now that's what I call a fucking combo. A fucking combo. <laughs> oh, damn it. Thought I could one-shot those guys. Maybe I could, but then they... Yeah, fucking difficulty scaling. Now that's what I call a fucking combo! Straight up fucking... Kill him like... Boom! Any other one? I'll pass. Let's get back to the teleporter, shall we? Time is money, after all. As much as i not a fan of that. I'm not a huge fan of, like, roguelites having, you know, time-based stuff in general, honestly. It feels at odds with the whole... Thing. But what do I know? People love, people love, like... Randomizer speedruns and shit, which seems. I don't know. Now, where's that? Ah, here we go. Oh, hi. I think that like, the uh, ancient wit, the original ancient wit, was uh, the model was better. This one just looks like a guy with a uh, you know aura, a fiery aura. The original genuinely looked like a creature that was like truly consumed with fire. I hate it when they just pull the get down Mr. President bullshit. Which happens, it feels like it happens constantly when you're dealing with, when you're playing Bandit. Although, of course, I see ya. Oh, well, I hate those, I also hate those goddamn rocket guys. Ooh, now I'm a goddamn rocket guy, although it's the wrong kind of rocket, I suppose. Oh, there was a guy there. 
two guys there actually. Aha. Frozen Tundra. So that was pretty pointless. Not sure why that's even there. Maybe there's sometimes a secret there. Yeah! Oh yeah, one of the one of the most iconic uncommon items. Just yeah. Occasionally just fucking throw out those big ass humming missiles. Oh yeah. No, it's like it's interesting. Uh, ooh, that's really cool. Uh, you know, it seems like every every character seems to have the uh, huntress thing of being able to move move while firing, just slower. Interesting choice. Ah, uh, can I get up there? Ooh, maybe. I think if I time it just right, I can. Ow. No! Shit. Oh, if I had like one double jump, this would be so much easier. No! Ah, oh, I did soon. Hit. I mean, this is, has to be possible. This is definitely possible. Yes! Yeah! All right. Now what's up here? What's going on? Um. Another one of these. That's good, but I think this is cool. Oh no, you've got to be kidding me. Oh! I didn't have to do any of that, did I? There's nothing- there's jack shit here! Fuck! So much time on that. Oh, ow. Wait, is something, is there something there? It looks like it, but I don't know how to get in there. I can go back to that anytime I want. And I definitely can't make it up there. Jesus, I need like two or three double jumps. At least. I mean, a single golden jetpack would get me up there, definitely.
Jesus, these guys have a lot of HP. Chance to detonate on kill. Didn't it used to be? Oh, whatever. Yes! Double jump! Ow, ow, ow. No! No! What? Hit me! Ah! God damn it. Fuck. Fucking mechanical spider. I didn't even fucking see the mechanical spider, but he sure saw me. That's sick. It's just... Ah, oh, such a good run, but we just constantly badgered by people taking giant chunks of our health out of nowhere without any recourse. I don't know. I just I really feel like the difficulty scaling over time thing in this game is one of, is easily its worst aspect. Because you've got these big sprawling levels with all sorts of interesting stuff, and you just really want to you know go around and explore, but you can't. You're ap you're just straight up punished for wanting to just go around and explore the levels. Because everything's got to be rush, 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 rush. What the fuck is it with roguelikes recently? Like these sorts of roguelikes, you know. Forcing you to rush everywhere. One of the things I, one of the, one of the many things I hated about Dead Cells, but even Dead Cells wasn't as bad. Because at least then, at least that was so bad because all there were just optional areas that you unlocked by rushing around. This one, its whole damn gameplay is built on it, and it's a shame. Because otherwise, the gameplay is great. I'm helped by the fact that you can very easily just go completely the wrong direction and get completely screwed over and waste loads of time. Just, even when you're not trying to explore. Ah, and to the, to the here at Risk of Rain, you're fucked six ways from Sunday. And then there's you getting just completely screwed by fucking enemy spawns, or lack thereof. Oh, I've come- I've circled all the way back here? God fucking damn it. Here we go.
There we go. Ha! <laughs> Lots of lights out. Blast assist nozzle. What does that do? Oh. Oh, that's pretty good. Don't cool down, too. Alright. Long range as well. God damn. It's interesting. The uh yeah, Risk Raid 2 had those sort of uh boss uh, the uh, boss items that you, you know, unique items you can get from the boss. I um, don't remember there ever being any equipment items like that though. Interesting. I certainly prefer it over the, uh, Wandering Vagrant, uh, boss item in Risk Rain 2, which was this thing which d made it get this big blast near to nearby enemies when you went down to below a certain HP, which was based off of the really fucking annoying ability it had, which was basically that. <laughs> Another double jump, nice. Or rather, a triple jump. I saw something down here, didn't I? What the fuck is this? Ah, yes, here we go. Voila! Only an environment log, sadly. Not like an artifact or anything actually useful, but hey. There's... There's no but hey there, I'm just... <laughs> that's all there is. I was gonna say a silver lining to it, but there isn't really one. It's just kind of a random bit of garbage. Now, uh... Where was that? Teleporter. Did I see it? Ah, I can't remember if I saw it or not. Now, uh... Nothing up here. Damn it. Well, I'm lost. Oh, get up there, asshole. in circles, aren't I? The teleporter, I don't remember. Oh, no, I don't think so. Here we go. Oh, you gotta be- At least there's only one of them this time, instead of fucking three or some shit. Oh wow, it actually picked out the injured one from that mess. And killed it, nice. I guess I didn't do that twice, but... Thank goodness those things have area damage.
Otherwise, even bandits' phenomenal cosmic powers. Uh, area damage wouldn't be enough. Nope! Oh, ah. Huh? Did it not hit me? What? I don't understand the hitboxes of this thing. Oh wait, no, it, that ability does... Wait, is it giving... No, no, I'm getting regeneration from something else, never mind. Ow. God damn it, I can't... Uh, I'm constantly getting hit by random bullshit. And there's this goddamn magma worm that keeps... That's the main random bullshit I keep getting hit by. Ah! How's... Jesus Christ. Ow! Oh, fuck! I just can't evade that! I just don't have the goddamn speed! Ah! I ran for it as soon as that popped up, but I just couldn't fucking evade it! Magma Warren is a garbage boss, and whoever made it should be hanged at the... Should be hanged at the neck until death! And I mean that with a hundred percent, with a thousand percent sincerity. Kill yourself. Jesus Christ. Let's try one of the Providence Trials, alright? Uh, that's the only one? Okay. Ow. Sure, why not? What is that? An hour th and 35 minutes or a minute 35? I don't really care what the record is. Uh. Okay. What? Oh. That's different. What the fuck is that? Shotgun. Huh. Well. Hopefully it's better than that garbage grenade thing that that was the alternate special attack for the, uh, in with the rain hill. Down is pretty short. Good. Is it even doing contact damage? I can't tell. Oh yeah, it's just doing it to the shield, I see. Shit! Ah. Hi! That's the Colossus, I suppose. Obviously. Oh, shit. Is it worth switching to that? I'm not certain. Why did you turn away before firing that? What? Eh. Easy peasy. Alright, that was short. And yeah, and I got the point blank skill then. Let's see, what's the stats there? Oh. Yeah, it's uh, instead of 6 times 60 percent damage. Stunning and instead just fires six times 100% damage but shorter range and doesn't stun. Does it? St hmm. Uh. I know, if I recall, in Risk of Rain 2 at least, a suppressive fire 
It's more powerful with attack speed. It's like more attacks. I think maybe that might have been a mod. But anyways, I, I wonder if that's the case in this. Probably not, because I don't think it was... I'm like a lot more sure it wasn't the case in the original. Uh, this Providence trial is even fun. Um, let's see. Tactical slide. Um, what else? A standoff. I... Let's check this out then, shall we? At least 30 opponents will affect my stamina. Taking for a headshot, dealing 500% damage. If an enemy attack kills an enemy, gain one temporary stack of standoff, which increases damage by 50% and lasts 15 seconds. And it stacks? Interesting. That's... I think the, uh, they added something like that in, uh, the strain too. Let me just... Uh, come on. No! Damn it! I was going for the other guy that was already speaking, but... No! What? Ah, uh, did... I tried to use it. Okay, this is... Kind of obnoxious. Alright. What? Are you serious? Fucking asshole coming out of nowhere. Locking my goddamn shot. Ow. Damn it, of course that wouldn't have been one of the injured ones, but I couldn't have told at all. Because. No. Oh, how did. Ah. I can't tell which ones are injured because they just stopped showing their goddamn. Injured thing. Like two sec- like two seconds after. Damn it! No, I don't have enough time! Ah! I tried to go for that guy, but he just got blocked by the goddamn hitbox! Ah! Bandit is just- Bandit is just the personification of being hitbox screwed. What that? What's that? You were you were pulling these off carefully and and lining these up. Ha ha! Fuck you! Some random asshole happened to block your shot. Go fuck yourself and stop playing our game. At least now they've got stacks of it. A lot of enemies will die in one hit to it. Like these guys. There we go. Okay. Unless they're elites, goddammit. And I've lost. Well, no, I haven't lost. But you know what I mean. Oh, no! Ha! Huh. Booyah! I'm gonna survive for much longer, but hey. No, oh, fuck. Oh, get the last couple hits. Oh, four, 58. Not fucking bad. Standoff is an interesting ability. Uh, anything else? Flashbang, Jove detection. What? Oh, it doesn't. Know. Okay, so not all of these actually unlock extra, abil uh, extra abilities for them then. Because Flashbang is what he actually... 
not with, isn't it? No, that's smoke bomb. What is what the hell is flashbang? Hang on. I'm gonna check that out. Toss the flash game, stunning and blinding all enemies. All enemies. Alright, I start with two max HP. <laughs> No naturally health. No natural health regeneration. Oh no! Uh, the thing which reduces cooldowns. I think. Yeah. All right then. Interrupting. Oh, I see. Let me invite all enemies. It's all enemies in the range. Um. Ah, oh, there's so much delay, and it goes so far away. That is, that ability seems pretty fucking terrible for survivability. Ugh. And, and like zero additional mobility. What? Oh, wait. I'm supposed to collect gold. Okay, I... <laughs> Didn't realize that. Well, since I don't have a time limit. Nope. Oh, they don't drop any gold. Oh well. Fair enough. I suppose this is more about evading enemies than killing them. Ooh, key card. Interesting. And this is definitely gonna have enemies come out. No. Oh, well, yes, technically. I'm surprised by that one. Well, I can, but it'll be a lie. There's no time limit, I can just keep doing this. Oh fuck. Alright, oh, I forgot about their they do eventually actually come up. Oh. Feels weird to be able to just not have to worry about time. Weird, but in a good way. No, damn it. Hi. No, I, I was trying to get you to turn around, but apparently you're... Oop. No. Eat shit. No, no, no. Ah, fucking. I had it, but he just let go. Will you? Huh? No, you idiot. You, idiot. You, you just let go, you stupid motherfucker. You just refuse to do anything intelligent. You had it in the bag, and then you just let it- You stupid motherfucker. Jesus Christ. You had it in the bag, and then you just- You just refused. You just absolutely, categorically- Oh, for fuck's sake. Refuse to- Why won't you work? Damn you! Jesus, fla- Fucking smoke bomb would be- Would work so much better here. It's like- These are supposed to be showcases of these abilities, right? 
Why are you showcasing me how much worse this ability is than Smoke Bomb in these circumstances? No! Ah! Again! Smoke Bomb would have gotten me out of that. Flash Bang sucks! Flash Bang, Flash Bang just fucking sucks for this. For this, I don't know if it's like outright terrible, but goddamn. For this specific challenge, it's just strictly worse in almost every way. I might go down! Jesus Christ! The go Goddamn ropes are so obnoxious in this. What are you doing? Fucking camping, asshole! Oh no, he's just retarded. I really, I, I, this might be a good ability, but goddamn, does it, does this game, does this challenge do a great job of making me hate it. Oh fuck, didn't mean to do that. Hi. <laughs> There we go. Bloody hell. Really don't want to have to do that again, so let's... Go, 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 go. Okay, there we go! Bloody hell! There's apparently even more gold that I could have found. Oh, I forgot about the goddamn... Ah, uh, I forgot about the goddamn key card. Oh well. I don't care. Doesn't matter. Heads up. Ah. Going meteorite, what? Okay. Maybe I'll do one more. Fly to the finish. The old tactical fly. I remember that. Ooh, nice. I remember that one being really fun to use. Mm, I remember that one being really fun to use in Whisper Rain 2. I don't know if it's actually better than. <laughs> the roll, but goddamn, it was more fun. Hi. Yeah. Nope. Ow. Whew. Checkpoint. It's checkpoints. Ow. No. Whatever. Ow. 
assume those checkpoints will respawn me if I die. Or at this rate, when I die. Hmm. Ooh, whoa! Alright. Easy peasy. That was fun. Just good, king, good clean fun. Sweet. And you know what? One more. Let's unlock all of Commando's alternate abilities. Well, is it all? Hang on, let me check. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong one. Yeah. There's apparently a combat knife. Is interesting. Turning him into a semi melee character. It makes sense considering. Well, either it's got the long range uh, crowd control thing of the big blast thing, the railgun, or whatever it's called. Wounding them. Take 50 extra 50 percent damage from all forces. Nice. Oh no, it's an alternate secondary. Okay. I don't know why I assumed it was gonna be a primary. That was easy. Wait, what was the challenge again? Oh, Alright, kill him in a certain amount of time, I guess. Alright. There we go. Got the full suite of alternate abilities for Commando. That seems like a good place to stop. Next time, maybe we'll go for a run with Commando with all his alternate abilities. Maybe do some, the, do some more Providence Trials. It, good clean fun, you know? <clears throat> Until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers.